right, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your SD to Vita adapter uh, with your micro SD. Uh, I have a 512 gigabyte here that I'm gonna be using in this video uh, with your uh, SD adapter here for the um, PC. Um, basically what I'm gonna be showing you how to do is to set it up as a UMAO, which is external memory or a UXO uh, direct. So this will actually read as your actual memory stick and your memory stick will be UMAO instead. Uh, so I'll be showing how to go through with that in this video and uh, how to set this up on 365 Hankaku Enzo. Now 360 was set up a little bit differently, but this method will work for 360 as well. So let's dive into the video. Okay guys, so here we are at the PC. Now I will have a link in the description below to download this RAR archive called TF Card Plugin. After you've downloaded that, you are going to need an extraction program like WinRAR. You can get that for free if you just search Google for it. Uh, but uh, just double click on this and open it up. And, uh, or you can just right click and extract. And extract all of these files. The TF Card plugin tool English version 2.1. Uh, the Windows 32 disk imager 1.0. And the ZZ blank image. Uh, which is a uh, disk image file. <coughs> which is completely blank. So once you extract, extract those to your desktop, what you can do is uh, now plug in your uh, micro SD card with your adapter. If you're gonna be using, it'll bring up the folder. Now remember that this says uh, whatever letter it is. Uh, in my case, it's the SDXC card D colon. So we got to remember that this is D. In your case, it might be different. It might not. Just remember that letter. After that, what you can do is you can install the Windows 32 Disk Imager. Double click on that and install it. Once you go through the installation prompts, you will run that program as administrator and open it up and it'll look like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select the external device that you have and then browse for the image. What we do here is I'll just select my desktop and I will pick the ZZ Blank image right here. Hit open and what you're going to do is hit right. And then writing the physical device can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Hit yes. Successful. Now what you're going to do is you're going to un uh, or you're going to take out your adapter, uh, whatever it may be, USB or micro SD or the SD card, and then plug this back in. And Windows is going to ask you to format it. So we're going to format the disk. And you're going to select the uh, file system, leave that as XFAT to default, and allocated unit size. Use default allocated unit size, select quick format, hit start. Allow that to do the format and complete. And we'll close this out. And as you can see, it will read the card and have it completely formatted. So now that we've done that, we don't need any of this anymore. Uh, what we're going to do now is plug our PS Vita in. So what you need on your Vita is you need 360 running the Henkaku exploit and Vita Shell installed. Um, the other thing that you can use is uh, the Molecular Shell as well using the FTP client um, or 365 Henkaku Enzo, which is the custom firmware released by the Flow. Okay, so plug your PS Vita in and go to your Vita shell and hit select. Once you open up your Vita shell, uh, you will be brought to your automatic UXO path. What you're going to do now is we're just going to copy this TF card plugin over to our UXO on my root right here. Just copy that over like so. And then the rest of this is going to be taken care of on our PS Vita. So let's shoot over to the Vita and finish this up. All right, so here we are at the Vita. As you can see, here's my scan disk uh, adapter here from my micro SD. So I'm just gonna take the micro SD out of here. Uh, this is really pain in the ass to do with one hand. Okay, so here's my micro SD. I'm gonna take that and pop that in the PS Vita adapter. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so we got that in our PS Vita adapter. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my game slot here and I'm just gonna pop this adapter into the game slot here. All 
and make sure it clicks. Now what we need to do is we need to open up our Vita shell and we need to go to our UXO path here. Now, as you can see, I don't have a UMAO path, which is the external device. Uh, so I'm just gonna open up my UXO, come all the way down here and look for my TF card plugin tool. And I'm gonna hit X to install, hit yes, and do it again at the prompt and hit yes again to install the VPK. And bada boom. There we go. All right, so now that that's installed, what we can do is we can go back again. I'm gonna confirm that there is no UMA0 here. And I'm just going to close out my Vita shell here. And then if we come down here, you should see that the uh, micro SD um, icon shows up, TF card plugin tool version 2.1. I'm gonna start this up. And you're gonna be brought to this menu. Now you have SD to Vita equals UMAO, memory card equals UXO. Now that right there is basically just gonna be, um, your memory card is gonna stay as the UX0 and the UMAO is going to be your external storage, your SD to Vita will be that. SD to Vita UXO uh, is going to be your memory, is going to be your main memory card and the memory card is now gonna be the external storage. Um, USB UXO is PSTV only. Uh, uninstall TF card and USB plugin and refresh live arena file manager um, which is kind of cool uh, circle is what you're going to be using to go forward uh, so if we go to uh, our file manager here you'll see that you can select UXO and URL uh, URL is the on device storage uh, so if we come down to this folder here called shell uh, you should see your, uh, this is your actual, uh, molecular shell, but, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to select SD to Vita UMAO memory card UXO. So I will hit circle on that and then swap the mount to the selected drive ST to Vita equals UMAO and memory card equals UXO. Are you sure you want to proceed? Hit circle for yes. Mount replacement of drive, SD to Vita equals UMAO, and memory card equals UXO. Process is complete. Would you like to reboot the device now to enable it? And hit circle for yes. So now we just need to wait for our device to reboot. And there's the Henkaku Enzo. And now we're booting up here. A little loading screen all right so we'll open this up and we'll come down to our Vita shell here I'm gonna start this up real quick and now you should see the UMA zero which is right here which is I got five megabytes for the installation if I open this up uh, you'll see the system volume information and SCELO trash and all that. Uh, this is my SD2 video adapter, the 499.98 gigabyte. Uh, and then UXO is still my main drive, but I'm gonna swap that. So what do you do to swap that? Well, this is pretty simple, actually. What you're gonna do is you're going to take, you're gonna open up your UX0 and basically all you do is you're gonna take all of these folders right here, copy them, and for an example, uh, I'm going to, let's see, let's take the app folder here. Or actually, you know what? What's in the app folder? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the app folder right now. So I'll hit triangle and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit copy. So one folder has been copied. We're gonna go back here to our UMAO and I'm gonna hit triangle and paste <clears throat> and then allow that to copy over. So it's probably gonna take some time but you wanna do this with every single one of your files uh, and the reason why we're doing it through VitaShell right now is just because 
For some reason, VitaShell doesn't like to show the hidden files on the drive. So once you've done this and copied all your folders over, again, it's going to take more time. You can open up that TF card tool and then swap your UMAO, uh, which is your Vita adapter, to your primary memory card. And you can do it like that. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy using your SG to Vita card adapter. And again, uh, the links will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, so enjoy your extra storage space. And uh, that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to sit here and wait for this to copy and uh, swap my memory card for UXO over to my SD adapter and use my memory card for standard storage. And uh, that's pretty much it. So talk to you guys later and enjoy.